That's actually kind of scary the, doing all that stuff with the, those guys, dude. And they just have a bag over dudes. They're like, why are they like, they're around the corner. And then he's like, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> bitch. Boof. And they just like blow their shit off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so apparently to you guys, the most interesting fucking tier one unit we could possibly do is the ISA, the Intelligence Support Activity, okay? Now today, we are going to do it with Theo over at Combat Arms channel. So feel free to go check out him. He's know he's going to post a lot of good stuff on it as well. If you guys like this type of content, go ahead and click that like button. If you guys don't like it, go ahead and dislike the video. But let me know down below in the comments how I can fix or improve for your guys' entertainment. If you guys want to stick around and see content like this, we post two to three times a week. So go ahead and click that subscribe button and notification bell. The ISA is what I think is one of the coolest between like ISA and Delta one of the coolest like tier one units in the mi entire military right and outside because who knows what they do right so we're gonna dive into it and hopefully enlighten you guys give you guys some more knowledge and possibly do another video but let's go ahead and send it oh here they are that's definitely not <laughs> isa people but hey it looks yeah. good right <laughs> They're not doing, <laughs> okay. Okay, I mean, if right. you're doing an air assault on the car, that's one way to do it, but that's the best way. Super, super sexy. <laughs> Vehicle interdictions, doo-doo ass style. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, maybe it is ISA then, I don't know. I don't think these guys are gonna be doing that. That logo is so hot. Dude, this shit. Oh, these clips are sick. Dude, these clips are, oh, <laughs> so hot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's all like like some maritime stuff. Like no. they're doing Dude, like look, a... at, look at that. Through the field, bro. Nice. This is real shit. Oh yeah, my that's god. Sick with the quad nods and stuff. Yeah, with the panos. Oh man. They know how to hype these videos up. Yeah. Tip tier first unit, military intelligence support activity. Tier one, people. Tier one. This is the. Oh yeah. These are the apex of the fucking. <laughs> The branches okay secrecy is one of the best currencies in war so it's sometimes best for commanders to keep their best mm. assets hidden from the enemy and the public 100 well <laughs> units that are still operating can you America's imagine how center mass they hit these fucking targets dude <laughs> yeah <The> special <laughs> operations exactly. forces are clad in as much the pentagon mm -hmm. frequently disavows knowledge regarding their activities or okay. even their existence oh look at and that they've been given different names multiple times <laughs> to any i love that that's a place <laughs> snatchy wachy dude I'm not sure if that's exactly what they'd be caught doing, Before but operated no, under the name ISA. Cool. I, I want to know if there's any like verified clips of these guys online because I've not seen many. I think I've maybe seen like one, and I don't even know if it was actually these guys. I've so if we if we get some clips, that'd be kind of cool. But I have not seen I've seen zero clips to where I can like actually confirm and be like, ooh, mm. that's them. I've only seen like photos to where I'm like, oh, like I've met that dude. I know he's like the shit. I, <laughs> I know that's yeah. that. But yeah. And then to, to I mean, everyone, by definition, if you want to know, it's like the United States Army Intelligence Support Activity, frequently shortened to the Intelligence Support Activity or ISA. And nicknamed the activity this is the United States Army Special mm -hmm. Operations Unit, originally subordinated to the United States Army Intelligence and Security Command. So, INSCOM. Mm -hmm. And I know that doesn't tell you anything about what they fucking do. <laughs> so, hopefully, we can elaborate for you guys just a little bit here. Hopefully, we can get something. Yep. Yeah. Again, these guys are tier one as well. So, you can expect them to be doing tier one kind of stuff as well, yeah. in addition to their intel stuff. Two is the field <laughs> operations group, FOG. Fog was developed because of a perceived need for greater intelligence gathering capabilities. That's a nice shoot house. US military. Yeah. Anderson I love how everyone's wearing the fog hats now, but has no idea of like the base of it all. <laughs> My favorite thing, hold on. My favorite thing is that shooters are wearing all this fog shit, and then they'll be like, "Yeah, intelligence, intelligence is stupid as fuck," and I'm like, <laughs> "Nerdy, yeah, nerdy ass intel bitch. people and stuff." I'm like, "You're literally wearing our shit right now, and I don't think you know the story, buddy." Dude, I, I swear I probably did that at some point when I was an airsofter, didn't know it. Oh, I 100% did. Coming, coming full circle. Known code names include Sentra Spike, Torn Victor, Cemetery Wind, and Gray Fox. Gray Fox That's is hot. the only one that stuck. States it Army makes sense to see the other ones. Activity. You say so. Frequently shortened to Intelligence Support Activity or ISA, and nicknamed the activities in counter terrorist operations. I'm getting so caught up in the video, I don't even want to talk. The ISA <laughs> is I know the clips are freaking intelligence sick. Collection. I'm also trying to tear the, the clips apart because, like, right in the beginning, they showed like some German dudes with some G36s yeah, and, and stuff. And then now they're showing like the TV show, like SEAL Team stuff. <laughs> yeah, some of the stuff that we've heard already, he literally read like verbatim what you read off. So. Nothing too crazy, nothing too new. I imagine, again, it's kind of hard to find certain things about these guys online. But again, they're 
the Intel components of the tier one guys. So as long as like you have the tier one training and all that hot shooter stuff, but then you have like the Intel side of it. So it makes yeah. it again, we talked about this before. It makes it like extra secretive. So it's going to be kind of hard to find out how exactly these guys operate and where they operate. But just these videos like this, just give you a better idea of what these guys would be doing, at least with like the cool clips and stuff. Yeah, and the thing is too is like like you said, I hope people don't get it twisted. Just because we say they're like intelligence, like a tier one intelligence thing, like come on, if you guys are smarter than that, don't think they're just like people who sit behind a computer. We say that about yeah. the uh, the CIA, the the Central Intelligence Agency. We know they don't just sit behind a fucking computer. <laughs> now don't get me yeah, wrong, everyone who's like, does Nico really think they're all shoot? Um, no, I know a lot of them are behind the desk and a lot of them are fucking analysts, but they do other yeah, stuff. Analyst. And these units are. That's like civilian sector, like, you know, now realize this is the military. This is a combat set environment. So these dudes are all combat set fucking motherfuckers, okay? So right, they right. know how to shoot and they know how to do all the other stuff, okay? Like Marines. Right, They're point. all riflemen, okay? <laughs> they don't know how to shoot. Guys, don't but ever that's forget. That's not true. <laughs> we, well, know, we know that's not true in the Marine Corps. <laughs> Operational you need to tell these seven-year-olds in my comments, dude. Several dude, I try, I try and tell them. In order to pave the way for special operations. Oh, uh, this is, dude, Marsoc does a lot of cool vehicle shit and force, don't they? Human, yeah, human yeah, they do. Oh, fuck. An example would be mm -hmm. having ISA operatives working undercover. Yeah. Do a wrecks of a suspected just, terrorist. Just a quick, uh, house, a quick tip, everybody. They would never wear all the white in the jungle just saying, okay, we can move on. <laughs> 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 gotta make them look like intelligence. Yeah, gotta make them look like a bunch of derpers. <laughs> derp derp derp. Right, so some humans, now we're, now we're hostage jumping in the SIGINs. In on the kidnappers' cell phones and attempting to buy a Soviet T-72 hmm. tank from I feel Iraq, like it's getting kind a deal of... that was finally stopped by the Iraqis. It's getting very generic, I think. It's it's getting super so, generic because it just went from, like you said, they talk about human and they just hit on SIGINT. And for those of you guys don't know, like when we talk about the Intel world, there is a lot of different Intel components. There's geospatial intelligence. There's human intelligence. There's signal intelligence. There's counterintelligence, so on, so forth. There's a lot. There's a metric fuck ton. That's why we're saying like, now you got to think of all those intelligences along with being like a shooter combined into one. Now you have, it, to put in broad terms, okay, for the people who don't understand or aren't familiar with the military at all so we can make it fun and enjoyable for all you guys to understand. That's what the ISA comes together and has become. The counterintelligence video that we dropped, we, we talk about the spy hunter aspect. Now talk about the actual offensive operational yeah, yeah. spying with the type of military operations behind it aggressive yeah. operations i would imagine these guys have a pretty good budget pretty good capabilities and also like they probably have a pretty good vetting system or oh, yeah. like an on-the-spot vetting system where if they need to get like a source or what have you they can just make it work for whatever because again if they're me rocking with like tier one guys they're gonna want to be able to pick up these dudes to get some actionable intelligence like right there right then yeah, that's the thing too. Like you said, I feel like these are the dudes who actually like operate on and obtain on spot actual it's, intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's actually kind of scary the, doing all that stuff with the, those guys too. Dude, I can't I can't imagine. They just have a bag over dudes. They're like, why are they like they're around the corner? And then he's like, <laughs> thanks, bitch. <laughs> Poof, and they just like blow their shit off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Maybe, that's hot. Their unique abilities are called on when other special operations Tac -Ps. Tac -Ps. have not been able That's, to This is Air Force. Due to a gap this is Air Force, guys. We know. In the comments, like, didn't you guys see that that was Air Force? <laughs> you guys don't even know what you're watching. He was kidnapped yeah, by the, the title says ISA. In 1981. Candidates are then put through a battery of assessment and selection courses, as well as background checks and psychological testing. So, for those of you guys who watched the, uh, <clears throat> the last video, the counterintelligence video, we talk about like, you know, task force, you know, ISA and all that stuff. And like some of the selection process, man, I really hope you don't have to bleep anything else out of this video. Uh, <laughs> the redacted again, yeah, yeah, the the redact talk, anything man. out of this video. <laughs> um, if you guys want to know how the initial process starts, go watch the counterintelligence video. Cause I mm. talk about uh, me and Theo talk about how, like when you go CI, like you have the ability and then you'll get pulled, go listen to the briefing about how to join these dudes. And we kind of elaborate on that very vaguely, but we give you guys the firsthand experiences of ourselves trying to go through this process. And just to hit on it again, um, you're going to go to a briefing and either you'll get an email or you'll be asked by instructors or whoever to go to a briefing. You'll go there, you'll talk, see some cool stuff. You watch a fucking video 
And th that doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean you're a cool guy because everybody who kind of has a little <laughs> bit of like common sense will go to those things, okay? Then you have to do your whole, like they said, mental eval, physical fitness test, and then so on and so forth, okay? Before you guys are like, oh, Nico, think it. I was never part of this shit, never pursued it, okay? <laughs> I'm aware of that, all right? Okay, had to hit on yeah, that yeah. really quick. <laughs> now you're good. Foreign language skills, although highly desired, are not a prerequisite to becoming an ISA operator. So like they mentioned the stuff like you have to have prior blah, 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 blah. They can literally pull you guys from like the ground level, like I would say conventional army. As long as you have the ability to learn to a certain level, like I'd say mm -hmm. the main course of like w when I say conventional army, you're probably only going to get pulled from you will only get pulled from the intel world, if that makes sense. And then soft wise, because yeah. if you guys remember from like I said, it's in the counterintelligence video, they have different no god please no <laughs> yeah i know you're about to say again just gonna pause there okay let's just say they have so, shooters and they have intel people okay and they're it's broken up yeah, in the yeah. stuff right <laughs> everyone's so, gonna okay, go back and be these... like he fucked up in the last video i'm sure i want to go see it <laughs> <laughs> so with these prerequisites again they will send you to a lot of this stuff so if you don't have a language they could easily and they probably will send you to it go will be mandatory i kind of wonder so with intelligence if you're in like uh, at least with counterintelligence, you have access to certain schools that are pretty legit, like the advanced driving and stuff like that. So yeah. these guys would have access to that and all the tier one stuff. So and, it's going to be house. some really, really, it's going to make it super easy for them to get trained up. So you don't need to be like a, a super badass going into it, obviously, but you need to be pretty close, probably. <laughs> Common sense. Since its inception, mm. the activity has been providing invaluable intelligence and support to many United States operations. Thank you. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> he finished. He's like, thanks. Thanks. thank you. All right, that's it. What do you guys think about the ISA now? I know they hit like a lot of vague stuff. They didn't really dive into it. If you guys wanted us to do like more in depth and even research type of video, uh, let us know. Once again, thanks to Theo over at Combat Arms channel. Go ahead and uh, check his stuff out. If you guys like this type of content, go ahead and click that like button. If you guys don't like it, go ahead and dislike the video. But let me know down below in the comments. I can fix or improve for your guys' entertainment. Go ahead and click that notification bell and subscribe button if you guys don't want to miss the two to three videos that we post a week. Let me know what other type of stuff you guys want us to see. We're in the comments. I'm in the comments. The first 48 hours, I'm responding to every single comment. Um, that's usually what I do on every single YouTube video. Uh, love you. Bye.